Let's hit a load zone that first game. Uh, Scott and yeah. War Beast, that's what it was. Oh, yeah. Pretty sure it's War Beast, yeah. So he is the one that you do look at uh, from last game to this game, and maybe uh, some teams could be thinking about him. But other than that, Lions putting actually a good amount of thought into this first pick here. Actually, uh, usually it's more of a sudden, more of a quicker reaction, but uh, dipping into the extra time. In fact, my shield is still there, so I can't actually see it. But I'm sure they're in the extra time by now. And uh, thinking of where they want to go here to start things off. But as always, pretty much the whole board open other than those four heroes. So it's just a matter of what you're feeling like this game. I mean, what, what's there? War Beast, Tempest, uh, MOA. Okay. Yeah. MOA's taking a, a lot of teams have been evaluating him really early on recently. And um, I think it has mostly to do with just his... Uh, He's good against Pebbles mid. Uh, he's good. He's good for your team for for the HP buffer, and um, that's yeah. That's mostly it. But I wonder what Stay Green is going to go with. I could see a Tempest pick coming from them. Um, I don't think they'll go Pebbles here. There's a lot of melee initiators still on the board. Yeah. Oh, Keeper. Okay. That's pretty smart, actually. Um, one of the best suicides left on the board. Lodestone was banned. Uh, they're still war beasts, but um, this way they don't have to. They don't have to. Um, okay, they can take Ophelia or uh, Tempest now. Damn okay, bro. see, Lions doesn't want to give them Keeper Tempest. Yeah. So now they're gonna get um, Keeper Ophelia. Whereas, say, if they took Tempest there, it would open up uh, Lions to take Ophelia Keeper, where. So they're going to get a pretty strong combination of Suicide Jungler versus just uh, Jungler that Lions is going to get. Yeah. Yeah, that's – uh, well, that's not – I mean, I was thinking if they go Philly here, I mean, you still got that War Beast option actually well, on Lions. Okay, true. Okay. Yeah. Fine, so but – Both sides could end up, you know, pretty powerful in that perspective. But they're going to have the better early game aggression, the better team fight control. If yeah. uh, Lions is forced to go War Beast, it's also attending away from their strategy of, you know, dominating the mid lane and having a, a lot of early game aggression, which nice. is I could even see uh, SG wanting Lions to go War Beast. Yeah. And sure, it makes the the two v two lane mid a little bit more difficult, but it's not like you have an like an extra hero ganking you. Yeah. Well, they do go the yeah they go the Pebbles route here. Uh, obviously, you know you're pretty much confident that they're not going to go Ophelia here on Lion. So I kind of wonder if that's what State Green's thinking. Like, we, oh, we, for we can, sure. Yeah, we can have that Ophelia as our final pick. So really, not no, no need to rush it here. Um, now it's just a question of Lions. Do they want to go that War Beast or no? They do not. They want to go the Corrupted Disciple here. They value that here as their carry choice in the end. So now uh, expecting to be an Ophelia pickup, but. Uh, it, they, could, they could pass Bophilia and run some sort of like defensive dual lanes, or but uh, I just think it's more SG style. They always like to take the jungler when they can. It's Minus is very capable of playing su second support or support, but they're in their best when he's on the jungle. Yeah. Ooh, they're like like Z Freak wants them to go Legionnaire. Yeah. Well, he probably wants to play a lot of really different heroes, and in the end, they'll swing to Mills is here to win, as is this team, of course. So. Not that Legionnaire's a bad pick by any means, but yeah, exactly. It's, if, if you have the chance to go with the lineup that you know works and you know it's best again, and Swinomont especially, makes, they're here to win. So <laughs> going there, Ophelia pick up. It would have been fun to see Legionnaire. But uh, hell, it would have been fun to see a staff of the Master Legionnaire especially. Not going to see that here, though. It's just pretty hard to pass Ophelia. It gives you a lot of early game aggression, yeah. uh, a lot of control in the lanes. Uh, the heal is nice. The... It's they're, they have a pretty good push set up. They'll have keeper dogs and Ophelia creeps, so they won't rely on um, their own like the the Hellborn creeps to take towers. Yeah. Like so, say say MOA goes up the the, the Hellborn creep wave. They wait for the creep wave. They spawn their tree dogs. They go in with the creeps. They take the tower. Yeah. So. And um, I'm kind of sur hmm. I guess they just don't want to deal with Dampier again, but I don't feel like that was kind of the reason they lost the game. They, they don't want to pick Dampier, or they can't with CD on their team. So I guess they just don't want to play against it regardlessly. Mm -hmm. And there's the Devo final ban. <laughs> Still do not want to see that, yeah. 
Not going to see that if they're going up against State Green, unless they pick it initially, of course. So don't uh, don't value it that much in the end. And I don't know about that, though. It's almost like it seems like their winning percentage is is very high with that Devo pickup. And, again, in that game one against State Green in the grand finals, they they just annihilated with it. So you could, for this team, I, I want to say uh, it, you, you could value that as a – Top tier pick over, you know, maybe say even that corrupt disciple. But they pass it up here, and now Rally is the first pick after the set of bands. So that's going to be their middle presence hero, it looks like here. Rally's kind of making a little bit of a comeback himself. He, he honestly died off a little bit, for for especially after those nerfs. And then, I don't know, just I guess other heroes were being picked up. I guess the prisoner definitely had something to do with that, I'm sure. But um, now he's back no, a little bit once again. I think he was starting to come back when prisoner came onto the scene, but it's. Uh... I think people just realize he's still a strong hero, and uh, even though he doesn't win his lane as hard as he used to, he still has a lot of uses. Yeah. Um, State Green go with the Luna. They could have gone say Pyromancer for, for more damage, but um, <laughs> it's good for the Pebbles when they're ganking, and it's just a, a staple for Z Freak. When they go with the Pestilence dual lane mid, that's kind of interesting. Um, yeah, so they're running the Rally Suicide here. No, I like the Rally Suicide. You want a Suicide hero that's going to have a good time, and there weren't many heroes left. It was mostly just Rally. Pharaoh is okay, but not the best. Um, hmm, I'm trying to think what SG is going to pick for Chessie. I could see a Wild Soul pick, maybe. Yeah. Uh, um, what other options are there? Maybe even a Zephyr, but no, not, not Zephyr. You don't really pick Zephyr against Minus Armor and Conduit. That'd be pretty silly. Hmm. I mean, Predator, maybe? No, no, not really against CD. You don't really pick yeah. Predator. Maybe even a... I guess I could see Mage Bane. Um, Mage Bane's pretty good against CD because of the blink. You know, usually, CD doesn't get a lot of charges off on the conduit. Instead, they, they're going to go for the all, the pretty much all-in push lineup. Yeah. Which um, I kind of like it. Uh, Lions don't have enough counter push. Like what they have, sure they have goo. Yeah. And then they have an electric tide. Like that's all their counter push. And as I was saying earlier, they can just wait for the creep wave to die and go in with their minions. But since they have a soul reaper, they'll have astrolabe. That means they'll even be able to go through goo when they're pushing. Yeah, yeah that's... It seems like it's a little bit different than what we're used to seeing from Stay Green in, in that Soul Reaper final pick, but yeah, of course, I mean, the push is now even that much stronger now, and obviously a great team fight hero in general, so by no means is it a uh, an oddball pick, really, in the end. So, uh, Chessie going to be playing that Soul Reaper, and right off the bat, yet again, they go towards that top lane. You and, know, uh, gonna protect their jungle. State Green's lineup kind of reminds me of a like a Lions lineup from like Contour Finals, like yeah. uh, with like when they still had Krebson on their team. Yeah, I think I think those these are some heroes you'd be seeing from them a lot of games. That's true. Definitely, yeah. So, sorry, Brand General really seems like a line Sports Clubs. They were kind of one of the first ones to really start using him on their uh, on their team. So, um, but yeah, both teams starting off protecting their jungle here, but in the end, gonna. Obviously, make their way to the laning phase as neither team really competing too much. Both teams with the jungler themselves, so I just wanted to so, make sure of that. Let's see. Look, just looking at some how teams are using the resources. Slow repair gets fooled regen, which is um, I think they give it to him just in case Rally gets fooled regen, which he does. It, it's not that he needs it, but he he they want him to crush the lane, and he needs it to do it versus a fooled regen rally. However, is is Where's uh, Swindlebones' region? Is it on a Luna? Yeah, it looks like it, yeah. Where's that health potion going to the keep? No, the health potion's probably. Oh no. Keeper already has a full potion, so, okay. And the Z Freak is blocking one camp. And that's um actually a pretty strange location to ward. It probably won't get counter warded without a flying courier. And uh, I don't. And it's not a flying courier, by the way. Yeah. Ooh, and, and and it's flying out mana pots or yeah. blocking out mana pots, so that means you don't really counter ward it for quite a long time, even if he attempts. Yeah, they had no clue. I mean, they don't even have any vision of Aluna doing that. So um, obviously they'll have a clue as soon as they go over there, and there's no spawn of the grief. But 
Yeah, Hanskin going to realize that off the bat. and But then it's the question, even if he gets a red ward, it's just standing. Unless they have a flying courier, might not even be able to counter ward it. So a nifty placement coming up from Z-Freak. And you do see Limp actually coming in over as well. And he places that ward aside to block the pole camp. So, of course, the initial spawn happens. But no more unless they counter it until it runs out at least. So, um, And Hanskin's rotation could be a little bit screwed up if he does not realize uh, the amount of blocking that's going on. Because... Uh, yeah. He, I mean, he doesn't even know that the right camp's not even spawned yet, so he might not, he might miss a like a stack timing if he's unlucky. But um, anyways, uh, I'm just looking at the lanes real quick. Middle matchup: Pestilence Master versus Pebbles Aluna. Talked about that pulled regen there. You see, Aluna has the two health potions in that state. It's kind of funny seeing that sitting on two health potions and nothing else. But um. Middle matchup, do you expect it this way in favor of Pestilence or Pebbles? I mean... Sometimes I see a, a Pestilence lane. Oh, they're going on Silky. Yeah, Silky was playing a little bit too up right there. Nice, and Pilsen at the last second. It will keep Master Arms alive. Gets the health pushing off. to the Gore proc even coming out right there. And wow, barely survives, but that was close. The thing is, um, super, they're almost out of region on the Lions team, so if they can... If uh, State Green can kind of force them off these creeps or like uh, disrupt them, yeah. No, actually, never mind. He's gonna get bottle. It'll be fine. Anyways, um, I think SG has the better mid lane. They also have the better um, what jungler for Genki in middle. Who Tempest is invisible. This could actually be a kill. Maybe. He only has level one glacial blast. But uh, nope, not even to go for it. They they saw him or you know some kind of information gave them. That uh, they might need to be a little careful. So they do fall back, and sure enough, not going to be a successful gank. And speaking of that, actually, Ophelia coming in with the Skeleton King. Will she find the timing? If they push up a little bit here, my Lions, they are going to be in some trouble themselves. So we'll see if that comes into play here very shortly. And that's just putting there very patiently, waiting for either Pestilence or Master of Arms. Neither one's creeping up too far, though. The Creep Wave is actually kind of causing some issues there with that. Yeah, they're not going to go in the end. Or will they? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, now Ophelia's like, all right, we're waiting around too long. Going to start heading back, maybe, kind of thinking about it. <laughs> the longer he sits there, though, the longer he's missing out on just farming the jungle, obviously. So, yeah, he's going to fall back in the end. And instead, we'll just uh, go back to more of the consistent farm. So, Well, if you look at his jungle, he has a lot of bad spawns. He has uh, mostly Minotaurs, Catman, and those are aren't really the best game, uh, farming creeps, and he's not, he doesn't have the opening to set up kills, so he's level two, he's gonna have, um, I mean, he'll, I'm sure he'll recover, but he's, this is not the start he wanted by any means. Yeah. Yeah, trying to make use of the camps that he's given, obviously still trying to set up that gank, but again, they both Pestilence and Master of Arms playing just a little bit too passive, and not able to do so. So yeah, his start to not look in the best. Hanskin's uh, actually much better, 240 gold per minute compared to 180 there. As we are approaching that four-minute mark, and speaking of that, the rune spawning, Master of Arms top will bottle up the illusion rune. Bottom rune going to be competed for as Tempest is here, picks it up in front of Aluna, had the bottle to pick it up, but obviously Tempest gets it just before, but now Tempest hits up trouble. Keep it the force coming in, going to try for some hero blocking. Power throw comes out. There's a the block from the minions, First and yep, will easily set up the kill right there. Limp was just worried about blocking, let alone not, not really auto-attacking there, <laughs> and uh, allowed Aluna to pick it up. So bloodlust kill. Actually, no, he got it himself, excuse me. Bloodlust kill comes out, though, in favor of Stay Green. Oh, uh, yeah, you know, you might not think that like, killing Tempest is a big deal, but it really is. It's going to make him have to stay in the jungle for a longer time. Oh, mid lane. You're not going anywhere. Yeah, they're trying to make something happen here on Pebbles. The core proc's coming out right there, but Ooh. not enough in the that end. That was pretty close. Yeah. But um, actually, Hanskin decides to go with the bottle here, so I think that's a good choice. Um. He's not going to be able to farm for the mana ring, but he has to have an impact in the game. And if he goes for mana ring, that means he has his later boots, and uh, his team's going to need him. And he can't, So basically, since he has such a bad start, he has to go for the bottle. That means his team won't have the mana ring up early. So those are just examples of what an early death on Tempest can mean. Oh, middle lane. Pebbles not going to be a counter kill. They get the kill on, the, on Pestilence. Master of Arms has to fall back, or else he's probably going to die himself. I feel like he could have chased to finish off Pebbles, but yeah, would have been a kill on himself, and I guess it wasn't guaranteed by any means in the end. So 
Good uh, good, good play coming out by Stakeman right there as they play aggressive enough, and obviously that's where the Ophelia Roam came into play finally. So he's able to get some action involved and sets up a kill on a Pestilence. Pebbles will have to go back to base in the process, but still, they're uh, they're happy to have the kill, I'm sure, as Pestilence uh, is now back in lane. but If you look at this top lane, uh, Jonas is doing a pretty good job. Jesse's at less than 300 gold per minute. And you, usually when you pick this Sawyer, you expect him to have a... Uh, not free farm, but pretty. It's usually pretty uncontested. Yeah. Even especially versus a melee hero. So he's just. Oh, he might die here. Yep, that heal's gonna hit. No, is it? No, yeah, there is no heal actually. He was just out of range of the heal. I, uh, I think I he dodged it, it with. With the compel. It, okay. Actually, it might not have been. Eh, I think he dodged it with the compel. I'm not exactly sure though. It w eh, It was 210 damage, so he might have lived through it. Yeah, it would have been very, very close if anything, but. Whatever the reason, doesn't actually go off, and he is in more than fine. So, yeah, going back to Jonas fan, I mean, 21 and 5, it's going to even be better here. He gets a 31 and 6 Sorry Purse. So, again, in the big picture, Sorry Purse is still winning that matchup, but hell, you have a level 6 rally that's, you know, getting decent farm at least in that suicide roll. So, they got to be happy about the that. Lane. Yeah. He's only 50 GPM under the person he's uh, laning against in the long lane, which is pretty good. Yeah, and Sorry for a very difficult matchup in most cases against melee heroes in general, so. Yeah, you got to be happy with that if you're a Lion Esports Club there. Uh, speaking of that, by the way, okay, so obviously, you know, pr pretty self-explanatory here what Stagrid's going for with a more of a push-style team by lineup, and, I mean, they're just known for that, and especially with the way they drafted here. So what do you think we're going to see from Soul Reaper as far as his item progression now? Um, Probably a Saxstone, considering they're against a highly minus armor-focused team. Yeah. And, um... From there on out, maybe a Grimoire, maybe a, just a tankier route. Well, just have to wait and see, but I, I expect the Saxon for sh at least. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty evident here. The Legion team is screaming physical damage. Uh, not so much on the magic side. I mean, you got Pestilence, Master of Unsisting, obviously all physical from Rally. You got Corrupt of the Disciple, it gets more and more physical late uh, as the game picks up. So, yeah, it's... Uh, Pretty evident, Sackstone. You could even argue in Gnome's Wisdom. I mean, wouldn't be the worst thing in the world as far as ever get the teacher upgrade goes. I guess Abyssal Skull, though, is probably still more efficient in the end, eventually on a hero like Keeper, maybe. But um, So, again, we'll see where uh, where Chessy decides to go with his farm on Soul Reaper. But, you know, speaking of actually farm, I mean, I don't think we've really talked too much at all about Fuzi yet, but Corrupt the Disciple, man, 360 gold per minute. And he's level 8. He's actually looking really strong here for uh, Lion Esports Club and as far as his start is concerned, so. Yeah, it's kind of expected. You're as a CD versus a melee hero. And, uh, oh, top lane, Jonas yeah. gets a free kill on my nuts. That's big. I mean, I didn't get a C, but I just imagine yeah, I... Pell into ultimate and just dead Ophelia. And actually middle lane, oh, they're trying to collapse right here. And Pell comes out on top of the Swarm Pebbles right there. The auto attacks to fall the goose out. And Pebbles is like, well, I'm just going to drop like it's hot right there. Aluna, in the meantime, Taking some pressure. Sorry for Fort's in. Looking for some counter kills. Tempest Ultimate is ready to go, but Hands getting not going to go for it. Will he? No! Demonic Execution comes out. He ends up going down. Give it the Force Root comes in in the meantime. They get the kill on to Aluna, but, but at what cost right here? Give it the Force. Already used his Root. They chase down Master of Arms. Ends up being a double tap for Chessie. And now Rally is trying to get the hell on out of there. So when it's all said and done, I think uh, State Green actually coming back pretty strong in that fight. Mm -hmm. Actually looks like a pretty even exchange. What? Um... I think it was the same results for both sides. Uh, everyone lost their support, their mid lane and the jungler during the. Yeah. And Fuzi wasn't there, so he was just farming. And now he has an energizer, so that's gonna be a big deal when he's uh, taking fights and porting into. So it's good, good for him. <laughs> I just love seeing that swarm go up on Pebble. It's like, oh, swarm minus 4.9 armor now. He is uh, not the hero early on in the game. As far as that's concerned. But yeah, I mean, big picture again. Crypto Devil is on top of all that. It's, he's, his farm now even increasing more. As he was just static farming during all that. So, uh, get start to get him involved now with these team fights. And As she's looking for, I mean, Lion's looking for a gank in the top lane. However, Mindless just placed the lane ward. So, this probably won't end up working out unless. Lightning speed. Oh, they do catch with the Capel right there. Ophelia's here, though, looking for the turn kill. Tempest running in. He has an ultimate. Gonna use it right there! I don't know if it's going to be enough damage, though. Sorry for should be fine. He has a heel coming out. Yeah, he's going to be fine. And actually, they need to be careful not to get turned on 
That was a, it was, and I also believe Master of Arms, I find it hard to believe that he was intending to do a blast shot right there. I don't think it would have changed anything. Yeah. Like, it, it wasn't like what he was trying to do, but it's not like he was stacking his stuns anyways, and uh, all right. I don't think it would have mattered, but yeah, yeah, it's still a technical mistake. I don't, I don't think they had enough damage anyways in the end, so it probably doesn't matter. He did what I did earlier today. <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I, I didn't want to bring it up, but since you did, yes, uh, we, we did witness that. And I was pretty mad about that, actually. <laughs> I was like, during the pause, I was thinking in my head, well, I don't need the U switch to goo, but it's yeah. the better play, but I think I might screw it up, any and, and then I did screw it up, and I was pretty <laughs> mad at myself. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. I think that was trying to kink up. War Beast W it was at the top lane. Hey, mistakes happen. I never make them, but everyone else is prone to them, so. It's just, uh, just how it works. Top lane, again, they still, they, they're trying once again to still make something happen, but they realize, okay, it's not going to happen. Tempest forced to the bottom tower, and he just goes back into the jungle right here, so. Uh, Hanskin trying to be involved there, and I mean, you, you see that GPM dropping down quite a bit as a result of that. He's now 0-2-2 and 2 and actually only at 250 gold per minute, where, you know, if he was just more of a static farming Tempest here, maybe go to the bottom lane and push, you would expect upwards of 350-plus, so... That is uh, that has come to hurt them. And speaking of that too, Limp's like, well, I'm a suicide keeper and I'm in the jungle tower. now. He has 330 gold per minute all of a sudden. Top tower goes down as well. Ooh, in Tempest Stadium's could favor. be in quite a bit of trouble here if the yeah. uh, keeper can get the root off. And... Well, oh, that's a that's kind of a whiff right there from Swinemel. Yeah, it might not matter though. Deep of the Master's call comes out and Hanskin goes down. I think you got to give credit to Hanskin right there. Good sidestep coming out, but obviously mm -hmm. not enough. Yeah, I, I suppose, but it's just not enough, as you said. Uh, Chessy decides to go to Lightbrand, and uh, I think it'll be fine, considering the start they've had, but I still think Saxon would have been the safer route, the better route. Yeah, he oh my a god. a lot of minus armor. Right, bottom lane. Keeper the Force to try to run. Oh man, he's going to be fine. I'm oh, sorry, but I was just watching that. He dusted Keeper, and he was chasing him with that conduit. <laughs> he got 10 charges, of course, but he couldn't really stay close enough to finish him off with the auto attack, so... Oh wow, I, did, I didn't even notice this, but Swinemon is actually quite suffering this game. That is having a much better time. This portal key is at least, yeah. uh, I don't know, three or four minutes off, and that's with an ancient stack without any kills at least. Yeah. And that's a big deal. That means they can't group up and push. Because, uh, the Legion team, there might be actually a kill in the middle lane if Super KG can get plus one. But uh, anyways, in terms of strategy, oh, no, never mind, there might be action. Yeah, there we go, lightning speed coming out on a rally right here. Compel Seismic slam in the face of Pebbles, and he easily falls right there. Obviously, very susceptible to all that physical damage coming out. And a good gank, so taking advantage of that invis ring, and that goes even further now. So Melons, he's going to be really delayed, but also the opposite side of the spectrum. You have a Pestilence who has 1,500 gold now. And he has that portal key coming along, unlike And Pebbles. this is a tower kill. Did they give this to Pestilence? Oh, big mistake. Tower. Yeah. I mean, I think very close. if he got that, like he has, anyways, he didn't get it. But um, in terms of strategy, uh, Lions is looking to be in a pretty good spot right now. They have a much better late game, a much better mid game. If they mm -hmm. can get to the portal key shrunken head phase of the game, they'll be in a very good spot. Yeah. Corrupted the sub. I mean, th that also goes back to... Uh, Chessie's build. I mean, Ooh, in, Invis Pebbles bottom with the keeper Invis. Yeah, they're coming in right here. He has that root ready to go. He's on level ten though, so it's only going to be a four second root for to five seconds. Say, but or am I making that up? Two seconds instead of three seconds. Wow, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm thinking old school keeper, but uh, only going to be two compared to three. But not going to happen just yet. Corrupted kind of tempting fate a little bit right here. I mean, Pebbles obviously nearby with the Invis. So he doesn't really know that. And here we go, Corrupted. There we go, the initiation. And Root comes out. He puts the uh, conduit up. Power throw even connects. Even the Master's Call. Is it going to be enough? It looks like it's just barely. Limp spawns the trees, hoping to block him. Not going to happen, though. And now here comes Pestles. Actually, Swarm is applied to Keeper of the Forest. But that is going to fight them off in the end. So, whew, that was close. Meanwhile, Tempest actually gets caught up by Ophelia. He buys his items just before regen rune, and he will be fine. So a couple of close calls. Right there in favor of uh, Stigian trying to get some ganks, but in the end, uh, Lion Esports Club survives. So staying alive. Oh, and yeah. another thing to note is um, Stigian had a poor start on Minots and doesn't even have an Astrolabe yet. And um, this, this, this might be part of the reason why Chessy went th the late brand. They, they just don't have the items to push up yet. They, yeah. they, the early game was kind of contested, and uh, they just don't have their core items. They don't have Astrolabe, they don't have a uh, portal key. And without those two big items, they can't start uh, team fighting. At least not um, 
you know, they can't just go for it. They need to take good fights. You know, I, I'm going to be a little critical, Ray. Right? It's, it's kind of funny because obviously Sunomon is known for just hashtag vestments, stressing the Mystic Vestments. I, I see Chessie buying this Mystic Vestments here. I'm thinking to myself, mm -hmm. this lead, you could argue that for 50 more gold, you could pick up a chainmail and then eventually build it into a sack stone, and that would be more tower. efficient for you right now. No, you're 100, you're 100 percent right, Breaky. The Mystic Vestments is only good against Meteor from Tempest, and that's about it. And, I mean, there's some like there's a Tide, but that's very minimal. Yeah. So again, it's maybe a smaller thing in the end, but as we go back to you know, small things can add up. So look at this bottom tower push though coming up for Lion. This is going to be a secondary tower. tower kill as well, or whether well, bottom second or top secondary tower goes down, it the will be the bottom kill in their favor. Tower. You see they use the Energizer trying to maybe get a catch, but not going to happen. Ophelia sorry for now. They're looking for a gank here, maybe on a Pestilence. The Pestilence no, is they're going to farm Ancients. Okay. Oof, oh. th this is actually a pretty uh, significant. This is, this would be the Grimoire of yeah. Sorry for. Triple stack ancients. Pestilence, he's not really going over there either, so. Yeah, this is going to be so. Mindus might have showed it, though. He's yeah. trying. Actually, I don't think that's envisioned. Just outside. Um, God, that has to be really close. They are heading over there, so they must have seen something. Well, they get there in time. Port back, so they get most of the ancients. And a Hastern on Ophelia. That's nice. Yeah, so, so. Um, good move by SG, but as I said, they have a long way to go. Sun Mountains is still 600 gold off the portal key. And, um,. They're, they're, they're on a timer. Like they, they have to make something happen in this game. Yeah. It's uh, you know, 17 minutes in. It, it, yeah, it really does speak to the lineup too. Once again, uh, it, although it's not, it's not absolutely necessary that Stay Green needs to just group up and push. But you know, that's that's a huge strength this makeup. But they, they can definitely scale later on in the game, sure. But at the same, yeah, I mean, look at Corrupt the Disciple, level 11 now. He is farming 415 gold per minute. Pestilence is only going to get more threatening. That physical output as a team is just going to get more and more dangerous here. Corrupt the Disciple. He went the Firebrand, by the way. You think of Geometer's Bane or Sir uh, Light, Dawnbringer? I would not want to see a Dawnbringer here. See, uh, Keeper has a very good farm yeah. so far, and he's going to get the double refresher at some point in this game. So he's going to need Geo Bane. I might have even preferred this Shrunken Head Rush just because I think uh, SG's has to take fights at some point. And if you get that item for SG's first push, it's almost like GG. Yeah. Or first big push, you know? Like if they can just stop the push in the first fight, it's almost game over. And uh, without, if he has a Shrunken Head, there's literally zero damage from Hellborn onto him. And he has free reign in the team fight. But um, if he's chosen the Firebrand route, and I, I, su I suppose he should finish up his power supply, finish up his Geo Bane, get a um, vest, uh, Mystic Investments, and he will be pretty tanky in a team fight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, obviously, speaking of that, we're stressing the physical presence here coming out by the Legion team, but yeah, they're going up against a lot of magic damage, of course, themselves, and so looking at, looking at the Mystic Vestment situation right now, it's only on Rally, actually. So Pestilence Corrupted and Tempest could definitely use one. He'll even... Master of Arms, but a little more understandable on him. Mm -hmm. On support, you usually don't get vestments until you have like, um, steam boots plus steam boots, and then like a, maybe sometimes another item, but at least steam boots. You never buy it yeah. until you have steam boots. So ASAP. All right, so I kind of wonder every every time, especially when State Green does a pause like that, I wonder if in the back of my head it's like it's one of Melons right here on Skype, you know. Amping oh, up the I, team. I don't and think so. Oh. I mean, oh, it's a they, right, let's get it. No, I don't, you don't think I, there's no strategy pauses going on? Oh, I definitely think there are. I just don't think this is one of them. Yeah. I, I think they all know what they need to do already. They they already know they just need to get Peb the Pebbles Blink Dagger. Then they need to find some good pickoffs or take a good fight. And Minus did finish the Astrolabe, so that's good for them. I think Keeper what just finished an yep. Abyssal Skull. Yes, he did. So that, um, I kind of like the choice, just because of the amount of uh, negative armor coming from the Lion's team. If they can mitigate as much as possible, then their Sorry will be able to do lots of damage in the team fights. Yeah. Yeah, I I I love that pickup. I mean, I think that Soul's Bulwark also is going to be 
priority here, I'm sure, on the on the Hellborn side. The plated greaves are coming along with that said. Gronophilia, they are going to be kind of warding and actually initiate someone right here. Kind of an interesting initiation. Conduit coming out of Keeper, but the root comes out as well. Down goes Riley right there. Pestilence the in the Legion background. This is a Hellborn very tower. spread out fight right now by Lions Esports Club. Not to their favor. Pestilence is trying to live. Impale comes out. He's on the run. He doesn't have flight. He's going to fall right there. But corrupt the disciple up to eight conduit charges. However, he's starting to fall now. He is more worried about right now. Damn it's all of us. It's going to be full duration. No, it's not. Skeleton King that comes out right there. It stops it eventually. Crypto Disciple is still on the run. Buyback from Rally. Seismic Slam. No, he gets stopped in mid-cast right there. And Rally will fall as well. So stay green winning a huge fight right there. And here comes the push now. The Hellborn takes down a Legion Tower. Uh, yeah, you know, I kind of thought, um, Lions had a good initiation there, but I guess Limp got in there with a three-man keep root, stopped a lot of the follow-up. And, uh, one minute I was like, okay, I think Lions has this game. Next, literally 30 seconds later, I can't see Stay Green losing it. Yep. <laughs> it's all of a sudden, it's like, oh, never mind. Stay Green's, Stay Green's in, a, well, in the driver's seat. And, you know, something about last fight, too, I mean, you noted it kind of, it's the Keeper who just completely stalled that fight, as that ability usually does. But Corrupt the Disciple does not have his escape mechanism yet, whether it was that Shrunken Head or the Geometer's main first. It looks like it is going to be the Shrunken Head first, ultimately, but... You know, it's he, he chose to go the Firebrand, then into the Shrunken, so you kind of wonder if he went straight into the Shrunken first, maybe a different story. But yeah, the fact that he did did not have that escape tool just yet uh, really, really hurt him right there. And now Rally in the meantime, he's in trouble. Demonic execution oh, as he compels, and that will be the final fight for him. And into the base we go from Stay Green. Good luck stopping this. If you're lying. Fuzzy doesn't even have a teleport. By the time he gets back, the racks will probably be dead, I want to say. At least the tower. Yeah. Oh, wow. The Hellborn takes Lions, down a how tower. about that, man? I mean, that is... Jeez. A tough loss. A minute ago. Center, a minute ago, this game was arguably in favor of Lion Esports Club. Then, one fight, one fight I, like that. That's all it takes is one fight. Wow. Stay green. Not only do they take the game, but they take the series. Two games to nothing. And what ends up being a 20-minute victory. I mean, you look at the time right there, and if, you, if you're if you just tuning in or if you watch, watch, see the replay of uh, the stats, and you're like, oh, they must have just mass pushed him from the beginning. No, that did not happen whatsoever. Lion Esports Club, they were looking good. They were looking pretty good. Again, arguably had the advantage up until about a, the last minute of that game. But before you know it, one big one fight right there. And all of a sudden, Stay Green gets that momentum. They start pushing, and before you know it, the game's over. GG well plays. I, you know, it, I, I, I want to say maybe a little bit premature on the GGs, but it, you know, it is their choice. And uh, being down, this is a final game. That's the only reason. If it was game one, maybe not. But being the final game, that's why I say that. But it is what it is. Stay I want to say play. that game was unwinnable at that point. Really. Uh your, sh your CD has to have a shrunken head or or at least a Geo Bane into, team f into like the team fights at that stage of the game. And because they died and because they lost their base tower, yeah. I think they might have defended Rax, but SG was just going to come knocking back a minute later anyway. So I guess they could have stalled it out, but it, the chances to win were very, very low at that point. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm not, I'm not mad by any, by any means. I mean, hell, again, it's their choice at the end, and, uh, and by all means... It's uh, I can understand where they're coming from, especially, again, with the way that game just ended like that. It's like we were in the lead, and all of a sudden, a minute later, it's like we're overwhelmed. So um, from that perspective, yeah, maybe it does make a little more sense. Well, that means stay green. They're going yet again to the grand finals. And uh, just 